Wendy, good morning, good morning and a pleasure to see you. You have uh, two targets for uh, MSCI China Index and the CSI 300. They are 66 and 3900. Given the balance of risks, is it tilted in a positive or a negative direction? I think it's tilted in the positive direction, although with the very sharp rally we've seen in the past three months plus, uh, it may pause a bit. Uh, but I do think earnings will show good recovery in 24 vis-a-vis -vis 23. Uh, we compare using quantitative methodology for MSCI China vis-a-vis -vis the other regional market, it's pretty clear China is in the first half of the recovery vis-a-vis -vis most markets in the second half of the recovery. So earnings, revenue tend to show an upward momentum during the first half. Can we then afford to be more positive towards equities, particularly on the property ecosystem, given uh, the latest stimulus measures from Beijing? Yeah, I think a lot of clients are um, questioning whether the easing will be significant. And I think there's one data that people are starting to recognize that could be quite important, but it's been overlooked. And it's the demographics for the starter home buyers and upgrader buyers. So using the UN number, it appears that from 2018 to 2023, the annual decline, the delta, has been an average of 2.5 million, so it's a negative delta. But starting in 24 and the next two years, it's a positive 1 million delta. So I think we're at the inflection point for 2024. So the market hasn't really caught up on it. I think people want to see data. It will be data dependent, uh, but we are constructive. Your equal weight on the property developers, you remain underweight on the banks. What do you need to see to give you further conviction? Um, the property equal weight, we put that on at the end of um, you know, October. I think it's starting to work well. Um, the banks, we have an underweight because at the end of the asset bubble, you always have a period of NPL cycle. And it's that caution that give us a little bit of a more, um, you know, uh, concern about the banking sector. But I think with property stabilizing and showing signs of improvement, um, we would actually be a little bit more positive on the banks while this um, interim bump up in property demand um, stays. How will the latest round of trade tensions, looking at the external challenges, Wendy, impact the onshore asset prices? Because the transmission mechanism is going to be through foreign exchange. Right. That's a very good point. We found the geopolitical tension appears to be impacting FX a bit more than the equities. And in the normal times, like if you think about back to the reopen trade in late 2022, early 2023, FX actually strengthened. This time it didn't. So it is reflecting more of the geopolitical tension. Um, however, if we have the improvement in property and macro and corporate earnings, FX will probably respond to that. And the back end of the rates will have an upward bias. So the rate differential would narrow.